Howdy guys, I'm back with more Mass Effect 2 and today I'm going to be working on an assignment this Project Firewalker Rosalie lost. Cerberus's Project Firewalker has reported that a survey ship has gone missing near the planet Zeonia. The ship was carrying researchers and a prototype planet site exploration vehicle when it went missing. Cerberus has asked that the vehicle be recovered and that any signs as to the whereabouts of the researchers be reported. So I've went ahead and flown over to the planet and scanned it, got the anomaly and everything, so all I need to do is just touch down on Ziona. Anomaly detected scans have located the Hammerhead Exploration Vehicle and also show active data storage sites that may contain information as to the whereabouts of Doctors Case and Oloy. So let's go ahead and land on the planet and get this done. The only other assignments I have are the DLC ones and the Omega package for Ish. I just need to go turn it in. I just haven't been back to Omega yet. So I don't have a whole lot of assignments to do. Alright, well I just got Kasumi. Ooh, let's see. Ooh, she looks nice and red. Alright, let's I, I haven't really gotten to play with Kasumi a whole lot, so I want to try her out. And um Gosh, you know, since it's a Cerberus thing, I kind of feel like I should bring Miranda. Even though that this probably isn't a very well-balanced group, I probably need to bring, like, Zaid or Grunt or something. But I, I want to try these guys out. Alright, so let's see. Oh, I can put points into that. That's cool. Alright, well, I'm still saving up t for that, so I'm not going to spend my points yet. Um, let's go ahead and rank up. Um, uh, Miranda's ability so I can do heavy warp or unstable warp. Alright, your warp damage is hugely increased or increases the blast radius when warp detonates by on. Hmm, let's see. Radius 7. Eh, I think I'd rather have heavy warp. Let's take that. And uh, let's see. Kasumi has a bunch of points. Alright, so. I feel like I should probably, let's see, in fact, you know, I thought I already ranked her up. I guess, I guess not. Alright, well, um, let's go ahead and max that out, I think. And I can evolve it deadly or rapid. I think I'm going to do rapid again. I'm pretty sure I thought I already did this, but whatever. Alright, so I can do this flashbang grenade, or maybe Master Thief, or Overload. Overload seems so good that I really think everyone should have at least like one point in it. I don't know if I... It just seems like a really good ability to me, but maybe I'm wrong and I'll spend that on Master Thief. I'm probably spread out a bit too much, I think, but eh, whatever. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Alright, I think this is fine. Everyone's got some pretty good stuff. I think this should be fine. Ooh, volcanoes. Yeah, I didn't really... I uh, forgot to read about the planet a little bit. It said that... Uh, but I did read a little bit of it. I just didn't read it thoroughly. It said something about this place being pretty inhospitable to life or something. This planet. Alright, we got the Charlie's Angels here or something. All girls. Alright, we're find, trying to find any sign of the researchers. I don't think the ship is safe. We've run into the Geth far too often. I'm going to stay at the next site with Dr. Aloy. I think we'll be safer there. Okay, so they've been running into Geth, it seems. I don't recall changing my helmet. I must have done that on accident when I was flipping through everything. So, or maybe that's... Maybe that's for here or something? Maybe it's because you can't breathe the air? I don't I don't know. I really don't remember having a helmet. I thought I had a visor, but like I, I, I was changing my outfit up a little bit, but that also might be because of the type of planet I'm on, because let's see, do, do one of the... I don't know, the other girls don't seem to have... Do they have something on their face? Looks like Kasumi has something on her face. Let me look. Yeah, it looks like maybe Miranda has. Yeah, I guess maybe there's some kind of things on her face. Oh. Maybe, yeah, I guess there's just something on our faces to breathe here. Alright, so the objective is completely behind me, and there's not really anything over here, so I guess I do need to walk around over there. I just didn't want to miss anything if there's anything to miss. 
you know, I'm not too sure how exciting the side assignments are in this game. The first game, most of the side assignments are just, you know, go here, do this, nothing too exciting. And, you know, some of them have been okay, I guess, but I'm just, ooh, here we go, cargo computer control. I can bypass this. Alright, connect the matching pins, blah blah blah. Alright, so these two, and then, oh, I thought I, hmm. Oh, it's these two, and these two, and these two. That took me a little bit longer than I would have liked, but alright, it's fine, I got it. Boy. Oh. This must be the vehicle. self-aware. <laughs> Primary systems online. Welcome to the M44 Hammerhead Infantry Fighting Vehicle. This is your onboard VI. Oh, okay. Press left shift to jump. Oh! Brown boy, it's like the Mako, but worse. I love... <laughs> I love driving in this game. Caution. Guided missile system active. What? What do you mean guided missile system active? Oh, gosh. Mission objectives located. Okay, so right click and remain close to the research to collect it. Acquired. Okay, okay, that's that's kind of different. Okay, wee! All right, this little little speed. Oh gosh, I'm on fire! All right, um, <laughs> this is kind of fun to drive. This isn't quite as bad as the Mako, I guess. I just need to remember to jump, I suppose. All right, so. I guess everything's just gonna be within this small little area here, huh? Oh, I guess I need to pro- Oh, it's- Oh, okay, it's big and blue and ink- ah! Alright, yep. Alright, driving's worse in this game. I've got a Z-axis to worry about. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Alright, and then just right-click- take a closer look. I'm trying, Miranda, I'm trying. Alright, so there's- Okay, I guess I just play platformer and keep jumping up these things or something. Here we Obstruction go. Obstruction detected. Destroy the debris by clicking the left mouse Recommend button. Recommend using conventional weapons to clear path. Oh, ah, okay. Path is now clear. This is kind of fun. Okay, there's a uh, hold space bar to boost through the fire. All right, all right. Okay, this is cool. Actually, pretty cool. You know, flying is nice. I gotta say. All right, here's some more research here. Very in like at least it's something a bit different, differentish. You know, I mean like. I don't know how often I'm going to have to use this vehicle for assignments. Honestly, hopefully not that often if my driving is any indicator of how bad it would be. Looks like I've got about half the research done here. It's pretty big and obvious where it is though. See, they put it in these bits. It's just a matter of actually climbing up there because this thing just boosts. It doesn't really like fly, right? Or does it? Let's see, so how do I approach that? Alright, I can't... Ah, alright. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how to approach that one up there. Maybe through here. I've got to find a way that's a bit closer to the top. But I don't want to fall down either. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure... Ah, I'm not quite sure how to get to that one. Hmm. Okay, so... Oh, there's one right over there, too. Okay, so I got a couple up on these platforms I can get. Here we go. Oh, it's way over there. All right. Wee! Wee! <laughs> no, I want to go forward. There we go. All right. Research. Collect it. <laughs> Found it. <laughs> Found it. All right. There's one up there. At least it doesn't seem like there's very much, at least. So hopefully this won't take too terribly long. All right. Let's grab this one. I'm right-clicking on it. Am I gathering it? I think I am. Alright, yep, yeah, that's cool. The, I like that there's a little indicator on the back of, uh, back of the ship here, that little green bar. Like, see, when you, right, when it's red, you're not close enough, but when you get on it, it shows you the little progress bar. So I'm glad that there's some little visible feedback that you can actually see. Alright, looks like the last one 
is over there. Maybe that's the last one. Maybe there's one more. It looks like that might be the last one. So, let me... Ah! No! Re really? Really? Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this game. Okay, it looks like there's stairs, so it's not the end of the world. <laughs> Alright, I keep wanting to push um, space to jump. Just because, you know, most like games, especially online games, it's... um space to jump so I keep hitting space so I think that might <gasps> that might be my problem all right so let me try this again all right no I'm why can't I suck at platformers guys like you will never see me play a platformer game because of this crap right here this is exactly why you will like Mario forget about it especially like the 3d Mario games I can maybe play Super Mario World maybe I said maybe but anything beyond that, forget it. So if I screw this one up, I'm going to cry, <laughs> but I probably will. There's probably like another, is there something else I can launch off of maybe? Like, looks like between those two, I might be able to. So let me go here, and then I think I can hit it from there. Yeah, that this makes more sense. This makes a lot more sense than that, because I wasn't able to make that other jump. In fact, I think they probably put it like this so that you can sit there and do exactly what I did and look like a complete doofus while you're recording. <laughs> it was all a conspiracy. Alright, so I'm not close enough. Here we go. Alright, is this the last one? I hope it is. Oh, whoops, I got two. I suck at this game. I can't even stand on top of this stupid thing. That did it. Alright. So is that Mission it? Mission objectives completed. Really? That was it? Okay, we'll press an F to hold in the mission. Okay, we'll shoot. I guess that wasn't terribly exciting at all. I'm sorry, guys. Um, oh. So do I get to keep the vehicle? I think I get to keep the vehicle. I think I get to keep the vehicle. Let's see. Yep, M4 Hammerhead acquired. Recovered research data. No, no, okay, so this was probably one of those ones I was supposed to do as ASAP, and I kind of dragged my feet doing it you know it's like I wanted to go and get all of the squad mates Man, and I sit here and I was like oh who do I want to bring do, do, do. I put way too much thought into how simple and easy that mission was really no follow-up nothing uh, okay well that wasn't uh, very exciting at all I'm sorry guys well um Oh, Garrus has a personal matter he wishes to discuss. Okay, so I guess after every single, um, like, little thing that I do, it seems like it opens up a new mission. Oh, that opened up a whole bunch of assignments. I've got a bunch of these Project Firewalkers. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, so, all right, let's read these real fast. Okay, so... Project Firewalker Volcanoes. Okay, hold on. Oh gosh. Okay, I've got a bunch of these to do now. All right, all right. Um. Okay. Well, first things first. I think I should go talk to Garrus because he has. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Oh, I've got a million messages at my private terminal. I'm getting overwhelmed, man. There's way too. Like, I don't. I'm sorry. I don't. Okay, here we go. This is this is this one's relevant. So I'll read this one from Project Firewalker. Good work on recovering the hammerhead in one piece, Commander. It will prove useful. Also, the data you recovered from the MSV Rosalie's emergency beacon contains significant intel on the few planets that Dr. Case and Dr. Oloy investigated. Edie has added the locations to your galaxy map. We hope that one of them leads you to the Prothean site. Despite Dr. Case's obvious instability, he's proven to be a brilliant and dedicated scientist. If you salvage more of his logs or journals, it would greatly help our efforts. We still don't know how the Geth are tracking Dr. Case, so be careful. Oh, man. Man, oh man. Alright, so that's cool. That I'm, I'm guessing these Project Firewalkers all probably need the hammerhead, so that's why that had that little introductory there. So there's going to be a lot more failure in my flying. So I think for the rest of this uh, video, I'm just going to work on more of these Project Firewalkers, and I'll talk to Garrus maybe next time. So we've got Survey Sites, Volcano Station, and Geth Incursion. I don't know which one of these to do first. Um, well, shoot, I guess, hmm. 
All right, well, I guess let's start from the top. Project Firewalker Geth Incursion. Data reveals that Dr. Case was interested in the anomalous weather patterns on the planet Latesh. He had scattered probes on the planet's surface in the hope that the unnatural atmospheric conditions might be related to Prothean technology. If servers could recover the data from those probes, it could shed some light on Dr. Case's research. So I need to go to the Como System Phoenix Massing Latesh. My gosh. Alright, so let's go do that. Hopefully it's just... Ah, I'm stuck. Hopefully it's just marked on my map so I don't have to use my brain too much. Ay, uh, let's see. Um, let's see, help Zaid. And you know what? I think I'll be right back when I get there. This is going to take me a minute to travel, so I'll see you guys in a second. Alrighty, I made it to Latesh, which is apparently Solarian for it's still winter. And I already found the anomaly. Planetary scans detect signals from sensor pods left on the planet's surface. These pods may contain valuable data. Warning, surface temperatures are extremely low. Advice keeping hammerhead exposure to the cold at an absolute minimum. So I'm probably going to end up destroying my vehicle, which, you know... <sighs> Typical of me, right? <laughs> Alright, I'm really glad that uh, a lot more assignments opened up. I didn't realize that the game was going to work like this. You know, that you, um, I thought I'd have to go and find them, basically. Alright, so, um, I feel like I should probably bring the same girls. I don't really even know if I'm going to end up fighting anything. So, I'm, um, I'm just going to go ahead and load out here. Alright, yeah, it looks like I got my visor back on, so that helmet from the last one was definitely like a breathing apparatus type thing, maybe, possibly. Ooh, it looks chilly here. <laughs> Warning. Prolonged exposure to extreme temperatures may degrade engine performance. Uh-oh. Mission objectives located. Oh, geez, that's really bad for me because this is going to take me a long time to do. Alright, so am I, am I on it? There we go. I like the music. Atmospheric in here. data acquired. Engine temperature stabilizing. Okay, okay. So, I've got uh, definitely got like a time limit on this or something. That that really kind of blows for me. I don't do well with uh, being pressured Caution. by time. Engine temperature falling. Oh my gosh, I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh my gosh, I don't I don't do well under pressure. This is why I play the game on casual. Oops, I I just keep keep hitting the button. Extraction. I said I didn't do well under pressure. Alright, so there's... I just need to follow the big red beacons at least. At least I think they make it kind of easy to find this stuff unless I missed one that's hidden behind me or something. I don't know if they're going to be... Extraction complete. I don't know if they're going to be kind of tricky with the um, placement of these things. If there's going to be any up along the ridges or Caution. anything. Engine temperature falling. Oh, I know, I know. I think it's because I'm riding on the water or... or well... That freezing is that water or is it a frozen lake? I don't know. Extraction complete. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, I'm I think I'm doing something that's Caution. engine temperature falling. Yeah, quit, you need to quit yelling at me, man. I'm, I'm not doing well under pressure. I'm, I don't do well under pressure. Alright, boom, here we go. Oh whoops, I uh like I said I'm not doing well Extraction under pressure. Complete. It keeps it keeps yelling at me, so I'm like smashing my right click button as soon as I get there. I'm like, I gotta push a button really hard. Looks like there's a blue beacon over there. Um, Alright, yeah, the, the terrain's getting a little bit more tricky, so, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna end up missing these or Warning. not. Warning. Engine temperature below recommended parameters. I'm trying. Extraction complete. Oh my gosh, is it because I'm boosting Caution. too much? Engine temperature falling. Is it because I'm boosting too much? I think it might be because I'm boosting too much. You can see, like, the frost and stuff on the vehicle here. Extraction complete. Alright, good, good, good. I don't know what it's like to fail this. I don't really want to find out. Alright, there's another one right ahead of me. Alright, this is this is pretty okay, Warning. I think. Engine temperature yeah, yeah, below yeah. recommended parameters. Can you stop yelling at me? I'm trying my best here. Extraction complete. Alright, we got two more. Caution. Engine temperature falling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so maybe if I no, I don't know if boosting. Warning. Engine temperature below recommended parameters. Yeah, I can't really tell if boosting is causing it to drop further or not. I really can't tell if anything's causing it Extraction to complete. drop more. Caution. Engine temperature falling. Okay, okay. I think they just do this to keep 
keep you pressured or something. I, I actually don't know. I guess if I poked around Warning. here... Engine temperature below recommended parameters. Yeah, I guess if I poked around here long enough, it would probably freeze up on me. Alright, there's one over there. I don't know if I missed that or if it's just kind of in a tricky spot. No, it looks like it's just in a tricky spot. Alright, one more Alert. left. Yep, yep. Engine core temperature has fallen to critical level. Engine failure imminent. Oh, well, good thing I got them all, huh? Wait, wasn't that the last one? It says there's one node left. What? Did I miss one? <gasps> Did I miss one? Oh, no. I guess, well, I guess I'm about to find out what happens when you fail this mission, because I think I missed something or went in the wrong order. I... It says Alert. I... <sighs> Catastrophic system failure. Switching to emergency power and requesting immediate extraction. Nope, well, this is what happens when you fail the mission, I guess. I... I don't know what I missed. I thought I got everything. I'm so sorry, guys. Damn. I suck at a, suck at a simple, simple mission. Well, will it let me redo it? Oh, no. From nine nodes. Oh, I just... I don't even get a chance to redo it, huh? Well, shoot. I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't realize that, um... I could fail that. I really don't know what I screwed up there. I thought I got everything. Maybe I didn't hold one down f long enough. Um, you know, I guess I'll have to rewatch this because, you know, they have big, giant, yellow, red, or not yellow, I don't want to say how I said yellow, giant, red. Change of plans, Commander. Urgent message coming in from the elusive man. Patching him in through the comm room. Huh? No. Change of plans, Commander. Urgent message coming in from the elusive man. Patching him in through the comm room. Really? But I'm doing a thing. The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. Man, I'm feeling bad about failing that mission, and now the elusive man wants to come and scream at me. Really? Well, you know, I, I think I'm gonna have to go see what the elusive man says maybe next time because I feel like this is pro probably gonna put me. It's gonna probably do be like the Horizon one where it like forces me. The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna probably. I'm guessing it's probably gonna force me into the next mission. So I'm gonna go ahead and just talk to Garrus and get his. Um, oops, I always do this. Uh, and I'm gonna go get his side assignment and then next. The time. commander has put together an impressive team. I've never worked with so many aliens before. They're a small army. We might just pull this mission off. Okay. And then that way I can um, just have all of whatever the elusive man wants from me all in the same video. You know, I was hoping to get all the... Like, man, I saw these and I was like, I'm gonna get all this done, but apparently not. <sighs> video games making you play them. Don't you hate it? Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel. Name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. Okay, tell me more. What happened? How did Sidonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs. Told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead. Because of him. Man. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. And that's what you want? You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. Well, I mean, you know, he's always been a pretty upright guy. If this is what'll help you you know, feel good about this situation, I say we can pursue it, but... Boy, alright, I'll do it. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Okay, okay, so... Gosh, I think I've got... Do I have almost everybody's now? I've got Garrus, Grunt, Morden, Jack... Um, and I just did, um, oh, and Miranda's, and, uh, there's Zaid's, Jacob's, and I think I just did, uh, Kasumi's, so I think I've got everybody's now. He was the last one, I believe, so, um, gosh, 
Uh, I probably won't get to do any of these, though, because the elusive man isn't going to let me control my ship until I go and talk to him, which, I mean, like, eh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not salty about it or anything, but it's like, eh, I'd like to finish up what I'm doing first, especially considering that I failed that, uh, last one. The elusive man wishes to speak yeah, to yeah, 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 all right. So next time, oh, Oh uh, yeah, next time I'm gonna go talk to the elusive man and see what he wants me to do. Like I said, I kind of have a feeling it's gonna force me into a mission that I have to do immediately and I won't be able to do any of these until I'm done with that if the last time I talked to him was anything to base that off of. So I'll see you guys in the briefing room next time. Thank you so much for watching me play Mass Effect 2. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Bye for now.